हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिक वेहिकल्स एंड दिस इज पवन कुमार इंडिया इज एन एग्रीकल्चरल कंट्री इन इंडिया 60 परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली डिपेंडेड ऑन एग्रीकल्चर दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड बैकबोन टू आवर कंट्री वाइल डूइंग द फार्मिंग फार्मर्स यूज टू गेट लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन दैट पावर कट इज द मेजर प्रॉब्लम दे यूज टू गेट लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू ओवरकम दिस पावर कट यूजिंग सोलर एनर्जी एट प्रेजेंट मोस्ट ऑफ द state governments are giving free current to the farmers 24 hours a day most of the current is produced by using coal but now india is facing a coal crisis an alternate solution for this electricity is renewable energy sources and in this renewable energy sources solar energy is very important central government has also allocated 19500 crore rupees to this sector under pli scheme now mr badrinath the founder of dinkit solar power systems is with us Hello Badrinath how are you fine So I just want to ask you you have installed the solar panels in this farm right Yes So how much it cost to install a solar panel for a farm uh, It uh, approximately costed uh, 3 lakhs for the 5 hp water pumping system Okay is it with subsidy or without subsidy No sir right now Indian government uh, in the Telangana state there is no proper subsidy for the water pumping system okay. mm -hmm. So we are uh, not providing any water pumping system subsidies right now so we okay. are going as direct to the customer only Right okay to install these uh, solar panels or whole solar setup yeah. uh, is there any EMI available Right now any EMI is not available if uh, necessary the concerned person can take the private loans and uh, he can approach Right okay so to install these uh, solar setups in their farms uh, what kind of rules or procedure will be there for farmers There are no particular procedures that we need to follow mm -hmm. as of now we just need to contact the number which has mentioned mm -hmm. so that uh, we will visit the site we will inspect it mm -hmm. based on the requirements uh, water delivery and how much depth the water is there all specifications are to be considered and mm -hmm. uh, we are going to suggest what is best for them okay based on that uh, we will provide the quote and uh, they can proceed further right uh, and one more thing is there any certification needed to install these as solar panels in the farm uh, as of now there is no particular certification required mm. if the customer is willing to install he can install it directly right okay and one more thing i just want to ask you uh, how much we can save with these solar panels after installing it uh, approximately per hour the uh, utilization will be 4 units So okay. uh, that across, if uh, a day is considered, approximately seven to eight hours will be the water pumping duration. Mm -hmm. Approximately thirty to forty units will be the generation portion, okay. and that we are going to save per day. Right. Okay. As a company, what kind of services that you provide to the farmers? Yeah, we provide all type of services related to the solar. That okay. is the hot water system or. Uh, residential or commercial applications okay. apart from that uh, to the farmer we are providing the water pumping systems and okay. irrigation systems and we even provide the remote monitoring mm. systems so okay. that uh, they can uh, remotely monitor the kind of system what's it's happening and uh, mm. okay. remotely switch on and off the motor also mm. through the mobile application right okay after installing what if anyone gets any repair of this uh, system yeah we are going to provide the service related issues whatever mm. are there in we how many hours you will do that repair approximately take 24 to 48 hours to get back into the action mm. and within 48 hours we are going to rectify okay the troubleshoot actually how many solar panels are needed to generate 1 kilowatt uh, uh, energy yeah power? we actually need 335 watt peak panels if we are going mm. to consider 335 mm. watt peak panels okay then the three panels are considered to be as 1 kilowatt system right and in that 1 kilowatt system we are going to gener generate approximately 4 units to 5 units per day mm. depending upon the climatic conditions right okay so uh, to produce 1 kilowatt of energy how much area is needed to uh, install that kind of, that much of solar uh, panels uh, if 1 kilowatt system is considered then approximately 2 meter into 3 meter that is 6 square meter area is required right in order to generate the 4 unit to 5 units of power mm. okay actually in solar system there are many types like monocrystalline polycrystalline so what is the difference between monocrystalline and polycrystalline and uh, which will have more efficiency it's all based on the efficiency factors only polycrystalline has bit let, uh, lesser efficiency compared to the monocrystalline mm -hmm. monocrystalline has bit higher efficiency and okay. their price also varies from efficiency how much will be the vary of the price approximately 2 to 3 rupees per watt per watt per watt right okay to produce maximum amount of energy what should we do what kind of uh, precaution we should need to take in order to get the maximum efficiency from our solar panels we need to regularly monitor the solar panels clean it and try to 
clear the topmost layer of the panels to extreme conditions so that we get the maximum benefit output of the sunlight. Uh, what are the warranty terms and conditions for these uh, solar panel systems? There are different type of systems based on different warranties. For mm -hmm. panels, we actually provide the five years warranty terms. Okay. And uh, for if we consider the water pumping system for mm -hmm. VFD drives, we are going to provide two years warranty. Mm -hmm. If on-grid systems are considered, then the entire setup is going to be for five years. Okay. So, what if uh, these uh, solar da solar panels are damaged just because of any natural calamities? Is there any insurance uh, provided? Yeah, insurance will be there. That is, if it is required by the customer end, then he can uh, apply for the insurance. If mm -hmm. any calamities occur, then he can claim it. Mm -hmm. As of now, I don't think so. The many people are approaching right. due to the small system. They don't get into the insurance. Mm -hmm. Right. Formats. Okay. So, how much minimum amount of temperature temperature is required to produce energy? Actually, the room at a room temperature that is 24 degrees is normally mm. sufficient with the average lighting mm. to generate the full percent uh, of uh, output. Mm. If the lighting is also more during the summers, at that time the early hours and late hours are going to be extended so that mm. we get the extra output during summers. Right. Okay. Is there any automatic cleaning system to uh, clean this? Solar yes, the automatic or? cleaning system is also available because mm. nowadays the people are getting very busy in their uh, general life. Yes. So they don't have enough time or they don't remember that they have mm. to clean the panel system every automatically mm. so we provide automatic cleaning systems based on that uh, the customer end his choice is uh, whenever he require he can switch it on or uh, automatic timer is provided based on that uh, it will be cleaning on the regular duration right okay do we have the option for on grid like uh, to sell this electricity yeah we have the on grid options also in order to sell the power and all mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, if it is uh, if they are already on, on grid lines are available or the electricity department uh, is providing the power then definitely we can opt for the on grid systems and uh, we can utilize it okay to grab maximum amount of sunlight in which direction these uh, panels were installed the maximum benefit uh, angle is approximately 12 to 14 degrees we are going to normally install and uh, the direction will be of southwest direction southwest direction so what will be the maintenance cost for this uh, solar systems there will be zero maintenance cost only. Okay. As of now, the only thing which is affecting the solar performance mm. is just cleaning of the panels. Okay. If we undertake the cleaning in a clear way, that is every week or uh, depending upon your climatic conditions. If you are going to stay against to the highways, mm. then you need to regularly clean every two or three days. Okay. If you are staying far away from your uh, location, then we can remotely clean the panels uh, for every week or three weeks based okay. on your uh, dusty region right okay and is there any app connectivity for the solar system so that we could actually man monitor uh, yeah there are the apps uh, we can remotely monitor uh, our inverter status and health mm -hmm. but for the water pumping system there is no particular app available to that we remotely monitor okay but for other on-grid systems and other, other remotely systems we can mm -hmm. remotely monitor through the gsm module okay. so and uh, is there any availability of uh, like uh, um, automatic uh, motor on off systems and all yeah it's uh, available mm. it's remote monitoring system it's okay. called remote monitoring system oh, okay. where we have to insert the sim into that mm. and once uh, we use the app uh, we can ring it uh, we can cut it based on that the motor will be on and off and we can remote even remote. monitor the status of the motor right. also so we we can switch on and switch on the motor uh, yeah, using our mobile phones only okay using, using the mobile remote phones monitoring remote systems remote. right okay so basically these solar uh, systems are very good uh, during summer but uh, what about uh, uh, what about their efficiency uh, during winter and rainy seasons naturally if 365 days complete cycle is going to be considered 330 mm. days are very good at uh, solar climatic conditions and uh, hardly some uh, 30 to 40 days the climatic conditions will be very poor to get the water out okay at that uh, duration so we have to just check for an alternative resources and uh, even during that duration also mm. the panels will be working at a 50 percent efficiency only okay 50 or 70 depending upon the climatic conditions but mm. it is going to work okay so what is the maximum life of these solar panels the solar panels will be working at a 80% efficiency till 25th year and okay. after that also the panels will be working mm -hmm. but uh, compared to the efficiency there will be a bit reduced efficiency okay. but the panels are going to be working right is there any uh, exchange offer after that uh, 25 years no as of now there is no any such uh, outlooks for uh, after 25 years because mm -hmm. the technology is going to be overtaken okay compared to the past 25 years now the people are uh, even calling uh, wirelessly video calls and all yes after 25 years the technology may be overrighted right and we can get to some new technology 
without any panels we can get the energy it's based on climatic oh. so we need to wait and see so what are the future developments that you are expecting in the solar uh, sector yeah already the ev sector has been taken uh, yeah. in the market and uh, very soon it's going to be completely converted to uh, solar energy and solarly substations are going to be generated okay. ev charging stations mm -hmm. so that we can remotely charge our cars uh, without any coal utilization and reduce the carbon emissions and all okay thank you very much uh, mr badrinath thank you for your time and valuable information thank you very much thank you okay and that's all for now guys if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family members for more such videos please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the video go green go, go electric